Wagwan, brethren, me Chris Harrington from Kick Off Life, and welcome to Jamaica. Me really not in Jamaica, but Leverkusen. To meet Jamaican sensation Leon Chippy Bailey. He is tappity tap, massive player for Leverkusen. I'm going to learn more about he, and of course more about his gem rock culture. Come with me now. Before meeting Leon, I hit downtown to talk with some locals about Chippy. You know who this is? Rudy Villa. Ah, reggae music to my ears. But where is he from? Um, aus Brasilien? Nein. Ah, Dominikanische Republik. No, no, Haiti. I don't know. Jamaica. Jamaica. I'm meeting up with Leon without this dreadlock wig. Chippy doesn't have dreads anyway. What one, bread? Can he selfie? Yeah, sure. Skin him teeth, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I want to know is how is my patois? Patois is all right. You can know that here. Yeah, you've been around some Jamaicans and you know a little bit about the language and the culture and everything. Leon explains his nickname. Explain Chippy, where did that come from? Actually, it's my, my dad gave me the name when we just started playing football. He's just like, yeah, you know, you look like Alvin and Alvin from the Alvin and Chipmunk movie. Yeah. Let's see if he does. Right. That's insulting. So everybody, they used to call me Alvin and the Chipmunks until it was just Alvin, until it was Chipmunk until it was chippy, you know? Chippy. So when somebody said chippy, you know, they've been closely around my life and okay. know a lot about me, so. All right. So by the end of this interview, I'll be calling you chippy. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Born in Kingston, on this road, Leon's life was no walk in the park. You know, when I look back on my life that I had in Kosovo Peace, it wasn't easy. And I mean, it wasn't bad as well, but it was difficult times was there with my mom and everything. I've experienced a lot of things there that even make me stronger in life, you know? Yeah. Next picture. Can you relate to this? Street football. I'm the only younger one who always play with the big guys and everybody see that I had talent and yeah, they didn't stop me from playing with the big guys because I could actually handle the situation and ever since I've been playing with older players. Okay. And you still do now. And I still do now. Now, I, I know you, you left Jamaica at a very young age, yeah. came over to Europe, a young Leon, right here. So, this picture means a lot to me. Why? Because we were the three pioneers who first came to Europe. We didn't have any experience of winter, nothing at all. And I remember we came with only one jacket to Europe. And that must have been crazy. And we came during the winter time. It was during February when it's really cold in Austria, you know, and we were young. I was 12, turning 13. We didn't have so much money. We had to live off a budget. Sometimes we'd have tuna and bread for breakfast, lunch and dinner just to right. go through the day and just know that, yeah, because we had a dream from when we were very young. In the future, I'd like to become a professional footballer. It's a Jamaican thing, and it's a rude boy thing. When you go back to Jamaica, all the Jamaicans there, do they call you the European Jamaican or what? No, they, everybody sees me as a Jamaican, of course. Right. But everybody know that, yeah, I'm doing it big in Europe, but Jamaicans are like this. They never try to give up their culture. Up like seven, up like seven. All right, now, now staying on the theme with Jamaican, because part of this, is just to help our viewers out there learn more about Jamaica. Yeah. All Jamaicans like reggae music. That is not true. Not all Jamaicans like reggae music. So what kind of music do you like? Well, of course I like reggae music because <laughs> Jamaica is my hometown and you have dancehall next to reggae in Jamaica. And that's right. the, the basically the biggest thing right now in Jamaica, dancehall. 
Movado, you know Movado. Yeah, I saw that. Movie. I'm lying right yeah, now. Honestly, I'm more of a Bob Marley fan. Okay. I guess I'm old. From the same community. Here's Movado. From overseas, me get a call and you say Chatagwan. Some me say all right, Chatagwan. So have you played dancehall music for your teammates here at Leverkusen? Yeah, they all like dancehall music. We run the place 24-7, 7 to 11, right now me up. I introduced them to it. And they introduced Leon to a bit of German culture too. Um, I read somewhere that uh, Usain Bolt said his speed came from eating yams. So the stereotype question is, all Jamaicans can run fast. No. We eat a lot of ground food, which would be yam, potato, dashin, and those things. So I think that's what makes us originally strong, big, and fast, you know? So Have you ran is, with him yet? Have you tried to run no, with I've him? I've never tried to run with him, and I, and I don't think I want to try to run <laughs> with him, you know? All Jamaicans are late. When I'm here, I'm never like that. I'm right. Always on time, always. But in Jamaica, it's a different thing. It's a different culture. I think it is true because most people are always late. Like, they will tell you some stories you'll never believe. <laughs> All right. It's hard for me to believe my patois is outdated. Everything is iry. Iry. That's. Is that too old? Am I too old to say yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not so modern. Okay, what so are they? Everything good, man. Everything, everything good, good, man. man. Everything okay. good, man. So that means like everything is good, man. Leon Chippy Bailey has come a long way in his 20 years and plans to go even further. I have a lot more to go, and uh, this is for me always a learning process, you know. So I'm just gonna continue, and um, in the future, I'm sure better things and more things will come ahead. All right, Chippy. I had a good time too. Let's leave Leverkusen with Bob Marley.